Oh, you sit there, Bob, and you realize, I know, man. Hello. Yuckety. Hello, country bumpkin. How's the frost out on the pumpkin? Wish I could remember the rest of that song. That's one of my faves. Getting ready to be passed by an escapee from a junkyard. Here it comes. He's got the homo down. I don't know where he could be going. He ought to be worried the fenders are gonna fly off that rust bucket. We're coming into a congested area here, Sales Road. We are uh, westbound here at Frankfurt. We're approaching I-64. From here all the way through Frankfurt is pretty congested. And I will show you some bad drivers. I'm sure we'll see one or two. They just can't help themselves. They just can't do it. They drive like a bat out of you know where. And they're really not going anywhere. But they can't stand to be behind somebody. They gotta be the first one in line. You know, you know what I mean, Vern? Okay. Wow, very peaceful and quiet. Oh, I know why. Everybody's home gathering around the TV cause the cats play here in about an hour or so. The cats are down in Jacksonville. The cats. Not much traffic here in Frankfurt compared to the big city of Louisville. But, uh, show you around the area. street called Hawathia Trail. It's in Indian Hills where I grew up. Not a, on this street but in this subdivision called Indian Hills. <clears throat> now turn it in. Here we go. Okay we'll now go by the junkyard. Indian Hills junkyard. There's usually about 10 cars parked at this house but it looks like They've cleaned it up a little bit. No, it's still here. I don't know if I can get an angle on it or not. See that? Oh, it's beautiful. Usually there's three or four in the front yard here, too. They've done took the mailbox out. Here's junk of the month. I guess they're going to sell it. Sell it. Globally. Might as well go by my old hood where I grew up. Uh, here we go. My old stomping ground. Scratch off, Blackhawk, we'd say on our bicycles with playing cards in the spokes to give it drama, make some noise. All right, here we go. Make a ride on Chippewa Trail. There's, here we go. There's Gigi's old house. Right there. Little blue car sitting on the side. There it is. Okay, folks, we're now making a left turn on Seminole in Indian Hills, where I grew up. Where the world famous Black Hawk motorcycle gang, which was started in Franklin Heights, Stevenson Drive, where I lived when I was up until I was about 15 or 16, then we moved over here. I couldn't really get the Black Hawk bicycle gang going like I did over there. Uh, we had a different type gang over here. We had one of the boys, he was known as Shifty. Then we had the boy sort of slow, we called him the turtle. Then we had a guy with shifty eyes. We called him Shifty. And they just called me, I think either crazy or jupy. 
think everybody knew me as Jupy. This used to be called the Valley Drive-In, believe it or not. This is where I saw True Grit, the first, when it was first released. It's a trailer park here, it's known locally as Stanleyville. But anyway, this was the old drive-in, and if you see these concrete uh, supports here, that's what the screen was. Way off in the distance, that was a concession stand. Well, they've turned that into a moose club now. It's a moose club, and the uh, drive-in's been long gone. And uh, anyway, that's uh, where it was, the Valley Drive-In. I've make sure I can get out of here without being fired upon. These people don't like gawkers coming into the area. The folks, you're not gonna believe this. Let me see, I think it's... Actually, when I was a small child, I lived in this duplex straight ahead. This is Phillips Street in Frankfurt. Everybody has to have a place to start. Well, this has turned into sort of a depressed area. I could get shot driving through here. But see the duplex? That's a duplex straight ahead. If I went straight, I'd run into it. We lived on the left up on the left at 614 and my uncle billy lived on the right 616 up there and he used to flood down in here and water get all the way up to that porch anyway this not a good area anymore i mean you know people do the best they can but they have a lot of criminal activity down in here too all right how you doing just a tourist driving through. Put your weapon away. I'm not the pole pole. I'm not driving a convertible. How you doing? When'd you get released, dog? Looked like he still had his ankle bracelet on. I'll be damned. 